When I subscribed five years ago, yeah. I think I'd be living with you, let alone you making me a steak. <laughs> So trigger warning, this is real. Like this is real, this is really a steak. I've really been vegetarian for 18 years, vegan for the past 14 years. So this is gonna be crazy. And also this is my friend Tracy's who I live with. I didn't actually buy any of this stuff. This is all hers. So I didn't support the killing of the animal. I am just going to show you guys that I don't care if other people are vegetarian or vegan. Plus I think it's kind of crazy that I'm actually gonna try to cook steak because like, what? <laughs> but over the past 15 years on YouTube, a lot of people have been like, oh my God, Matt doesn't like people unless they're vegetarian and vegan. And that is like not even true. Like I have never even dated a vegan. Like I don't care if they eat meat. I don't care what they do. That's their body, that's their life. So this is really gonna be one <laughs> eye-opening experience for me. So what we are going to be making today is reverse pan seared steak. <laughs> I have it like written down right there. And this is actually a ribeye steak. And what I really wanted to do, let me see if I can like show you guys this. What I wanted to do was I wanted to cut off a lot of the like excess fat on this steak. And my friends was like, don't you dare. And I was like, okay like whatever so i guess the fat adds flavor um <laughs> i had no clue but this is pretty simple basically all we got is some parsley that i chopped up we got some crushed garlic two tablespoons of butter three tablespoons of canola oil and then seasoning so usually you have like salt and pepper but I'm just gonna use this buttery steakhouse seasoning and use it as a rub on the meat. Um, I Googled it and it says that it's okay to use seasoning as a rub, like I, I, I don't know. This specifically has milk in it, so I wouldn't be able to even test this out on anything, but I'm going to rub this meat. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Things I never thought I would say. I'm gonna rub this meat with the seasoning. I am preheating the oven to 200 degrees right now um, where we're going to be putting it in the oven for 45 minutes and then pan searing it after with the butter, the garlic, and the parsley. So I guess, first things first, let me um, season my meat. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. For <laughs> I'm forgetting. For some reason, all the instructions were like, don't forget to pat your meat down with a paper towel. <laughs> I really, I, I don't know why. I, I honestly, I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm guessing to get rid of any excess juices. <gasps> I'm wearing gloves, I love that. Okay, I mean, there is definitely some excess juices on there. Uh, okay, so right now we're patting down the meat with a paper towel. And I'm also using latex, latex free. I mean like the powder free, like there's no powder on my gloves. So I'm not an animal. All right, so now we're going to take this and we're going to generously apply it to the meat. I guess let me probably hold it kind of. Yay. Then you just want to kind of like rub that in there, get it all on like the sides, flip it over. Rub it some more. That's a, I do love a lot of seasonings. Wow. I haven't had meat this close to my face in a very, very long time. Okay, so I don't know if I'm supposed to like tenderize this or whatever, but it just said kind of like work the rub into the steak. I feel like the side needs it. Okay. I mean. It looks good, I guess, for like being a dead animal. Hopefully this works out. This is going to be the best steak you have ever seen a vegan cook. And I don't think I've ever seen any of my vegan friends ever fucking cook a steak. So my oven is preheated to 200 and we're gonna throw this steak in there. Um, it asked to put it on a little wire rack and then put it on um, a baking sheet and then put it in the middle of the oven like so. So, and then we're going to cook that for 45 minutes 
and then voila. While that's cooking, I threw some steak fries in our little air fryer, so hopefully that comes like out around the same time. And then I am going to pour some wine, which is so funny. Actually, my favorite wine is a Malbec, which actually pairs the best with steak. <laughs> Which is hilarious because like, I have never actually had it with a steak. So I was like, oh my God, Tracy, you need to try this with steak. And she's like, all right, I can fuck with that. So let me open this bottle. Ta -da! And then put on a little aerator. And then, you know, pour some wine. Cheers. Wait, what am I cooking for myself? I guess I'll just drink wine. And air. Because air is fetch. So when there's three minutes left in the oven, what you're gonna do is you're going to put on the um, stove top on high with canola oil for three minutes and kind of let it get nice and smoky. Oh my God, let's see how we did. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, let me stop the timer. Obviously, don't forget to turn off your oven. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to pan sear both sides for one minute. Ooh, look, it's getting smoky. I don't know if you can see that, but it is definitely smoking. All right, let's uh, grab this baby. Oh my God. All right, whoa, okay, let's see. Whew. Okay, and now the other side. Come to me, my friend. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this with one hand. Oh, I broke it. Oopsie. Ooh, it's already looking good, I think. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is you're going to add the butter, the smashed, garlic and the parsley on top and then sear both sides for one minute. Why is this so hard? Oh shit! Okay. Okay, let me stop recording real quick. I was supposed to use an iron skillet, but I ain't got one of those, so shit, it's like, <laughs> ah! What am I doing? Ah! <laughs> what you do now is you're gonna wanna like, get the juices and make sure that it's like swimming in it. So, I'm making sure it's swimming. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Beautiful. Wow, look at it. The garlic is already browning. Perfect. All right, let me turn this off because I'm pretty sure this baby is done. And there you have it, my friends, a vegan cooks a steak. All right, let's see how good this turned out. Okay, I think it's a little bit more well done than she likes. I think she wanted more of a medium but I think it turned out pretty well. <laughs> it's literally dripping all over the counter as I'm trying to take a thumbnail. Ugh. I'm like, how do I look cute with the fucking thing of meat? Ew, I'm so grossed out right now. I'm so, okay. Oh, this is the night, such a beautiful night. And they called it Bella Notte. All right, moment of truth, Tracy. Let me know how the steak is. I know you like it medium. I think it did kind of like a medium well. Oh. But like based on the pictures I was Googling, I was like, oh shit, it needs to be a little bit pink on the inside and those don't look pink at all. Oh, no, this should be fine. You're like, eh, it's fine. Oh God, wait, can I get your reaction? <laughs> actually bomb. Really? No, you could be honest. No, it's no like really if it's really shitty, good. just tell me. It's actually really good. Really? Yeah. Definitely. No, you're fucking with me. No, I'm not fucking with no, you. No, no, like I don't care. You can like be completely honest right now. It's pretty damn good. Really? Oh, yeah, bitches! I've always wondered what it actually tastes like with steak. I'm always like, hmm. Is it, it good? It adds a little spice to it. Ooh, spice. You know how I love spice. It's delicious. 
<laughs> so as she continued going on, it's more pink. I did it. Mm -hmm. You did. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know, when I subscribed five years ago, yeah. I didn't think I'd be living with you, let alone you making me a steak. <laughs> well, it looks like. <laughs> I still can't get over this. Well, it looks like my job here is done. Ugh, gross. <laughs> There's so much oil. I need to just clean everything. I'm just like, whatever. If you guys like this video, please, like, literally, I'm vegan and I cooked a fucking steak and I did a bomb ass job. So you better like this video and subscribe because, like, what? And let me know if you want to see me cook something else, because maybe I'll cook something else for Tracy. Like, I don't know. Like, what do you want to see me do next? All right, I'll put the, like, recipe down below. I just kind of followed a couple of random recipes, and it turned out pretty well. I think the reason why it ended up being, like, well done or whatever. Wait, is it falling slowly? <laughs> Sorry, I had a glass of wine. Um, the reason why it was well done is because I was trying to film with one hand, and I was trying to flip that bitch with the other, and it kind of cooked it, like, you know, a minute too much on both sides. But it looked good. It tastes good. That's all I care about. I need to go take a bath, a shower. I need to go cleanse my body filled with these juices that ended up all over me. It's been a while since meat juices have been on top of me. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe because every time you don't subscribe, a gay baby turns straight. Ah, it's it for the gaybies. All right, I'll see you guys next Sunday. Bye. Fuck, I did a good job. Who am I to judge? I am not a judge of you. I do not control you. You control yourself. You control your life. And I hope that you be